everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Craftsman. This is the brushless version of their reciprocating saw. Now, I've got a lot of questions on if these are quality. Would you use them on a job site? Would you give them as gifts? And I hope that this demonstration shows you a little bit about how this works and if it is actually worth it. Now, let's talk a little bit about the tool. I put a 4 amp hour battery on this because I feel that on reciprocating saws you should always have at least a 4 amp hour battery. You need that extra, extra power in order to power through things. Uh, the rubber over molding on this feels good. This is a compact saw. It's not as big as some of the other ones, but I got to tell you, the shape of this and the feel of this is absolutely, it feels really good. Now, I'm not biased so much towards Craftsman. I'm going to be very honest with you, um, but it does feel really good. Now, it does have a quick change in the front of it right here. You can see that in here, so you can just thumb it. And that's easier on each side to get the blade in and out. And so let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So I thumbed it over. Let's put this in here. Okay, so now it's locked in. That's not going anywhere. And of course, the battery's not in when I'm doing this. So that feels really good. Now, if you look on top, this has a one and a two. This is something I have not seen before. So you have the choice of making it a lower RPM for an easier cut or a higher RPM for some of those tougher jobs. So you can buy this as a tool or you can buy it in the kit. But with this one, we're just going to saw through a couple things and really put it through its paces to see if this can actually do the job. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start sawing through some wood to show you how this performs. This is number one. Reset that's got some vibration to it. Now let's put it on setting two. Okay, so I had that backwards. Number one is the highest setting, number two is the low setting, but you can see it cut through it without any issues. Let's move on to a log to see if this can prune a five inch in diameter log. Okay, so I have a typical printing blade. This is from Diablo. This is well used, so it's gonna put it through the ringer. Now, if you look at this, some people say, why are you doing that? I typically limit my uh, cuts to three inch, but in terms of testing, let's test the limits of this to see if it can actually power through. And uh, let's give this a shot to see how it does here. Well, so it actually cut it pretty much like butter. Now I was tilting it up and down. I did have a good amount of vibration that came out of this. Okay, everybody, so you saw this work on light duty work and you saw this work on heavy duty work. Now it did have a good amount of vibration, but it got the job done. And I think that's what's most important is that it was able to power through it and get the job done. So I hope that this helps somebody. If you're looking and, and you're kind of on a decision making path, maybe this will push you over one way or another, but you saw it actually demonstrate. If this helped you in some way, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.